Trails are our gateway to the great outdoors, a way to connect with communities, nature, and historic sites. Minnesota has more than 1,300 miles of state trails, and one of the most popular is the Root River State Trail in Southeast Minnesota. It starts in Fountain City. It runs through the charming historic towns of Lanesboro, Wayland, Peterson, Rushford, and Houston. Most of the trail is relatively flat, except for a half mile of steep hills just west of Houston. Users are likely to see white-tailed deer, wild turkeys, raptors, songbirds, and lots of squirrels. If you're lucky, you may spot beavers or timber rattlesnakes. Since there's little cell phone coverage along the route, bikers and hikers come here to unplug. I like the serenity of the trail. I like to come and just relax and a lot of times just by myself and that all the problems of the world melt away. Following the Root River and watching the current is wonderful. Right now the, the wild flocks are blooming and that is gorgeous all along the banks and along the trail. We've gotten to, to know various people and you start talking to them and you share the, the differences between the biking or the bikes that you ride. These are uh, what they call short wheelbase recumbents. If you go on the trails where we have in Wisconsin, we have a hard pack and they're, they're too squirrely. They're, you have to be on trails like this. That's why we love these trails here. Like the Warzellas, Marsha and Merritt Beeman travel to Southeast Minnesota to enjoy the region's unique topography. They have biked across the United States and in 21 countries yet they make their way to the Root River Trail twice a year. Bicycling in Europe is a way of life. Here it's more of a recreational and a getaway and a, a way to clear your mind and forget about other things. When you're bicycling, you worry about the temperature, whether, whether it might rain, which way the wind's going and whether there's hills. So it's, there's no room to worry about what's going on at home because you're thinking about a more immediate, more primitive level, and that, that's what makes it so relaxing. The trail has enough diversity. You can, you can pretty much pick any distance that you want because with a combination of going um, upriver or downriver and the spurs that they have on, whatever level of fitness you have at the time, you can find a distance that's appropriate. The State Trail was built on the Old Milwaukee Road Railway that ran 50 miles along the Root River to service small communities. In 1980, the railroad received permission to abandon the line, and the Minnesota DNR determined it would be a great route for a recreational trail. In 1999, construction of the Root River State Trail was completed and it started drawing thousands to the area. Uh, the Root River State Trail is used year round by hikers, bikers, walkers, and skaters. But in the winter months, the trail is used and groomed for cross-country skiing, but it also attracts a lot of snowshoers to the area. They are stopping in these communities and spending money on lodging and food and dining and shopping. Lanesboro has the most recreational traffic along the trail. During 2018, we put a trail counter just outside of Lanesboro. During that study, we actually had about 17,000 pedestrians and 57,000 cyclists pass by that trail counter. So that equaled out to about 71 pedestrians and 239 bike riders per day in the city of Lanesboro. Everyone in this town is so friendly, but all the towns along the route cater to the bicyclists. If you go towards Whalen, the bluffs are just absolutely gorgeous. Whalen is one of Minnesota's smallest towns, but it has arguably the best pie shop. And you bike anywhere for pie. Aroma pie shop owner Karna Hudoba didn't dream she would be living in this tiny burg until she ventured out on the Root River Trail with her husband and friends. When we came across this, there was a for sale sign and one of my friends said, hey Karna, there's a pie shop for sale. And I said, no way, <laughs> absolutely not. 
I had no idea where we were. After we went inside, I started redecorating in my head and I said nothing to anybody. And when we went on our way home, I just said, I wanted to take a look at the kitchen. And so we did. I wanted to open a copy in a donut shop up by Forest Lake um, where we raised our family. And we just pulled the plug on it and came down here. I'm so thrilled we're going into our fourth season and I love it down here. Karna lives above her shop from May through October, and during the off season, she is home with her husband in Forest Lake. I know more neighbors here than I do back home. She kept the previous owner's pie crust recipe, made with lard, and serves up to 500 slices a day. Instead of just peach, I make a blackberry peach or a blueberry peach, or, and then an apple, a caramel apple crumb, um, bumbleberry, triple berry. There's just so many pies that people ask for and requested that I just keep adding and adding. The trail is very important to this area, and I think that people really enjoy um, waving to the bikers as they come by. There's all different types of bikers, from young to old, um, three-wheelers to two-wheelers, and fancy people with their bike shorts, uniforms on, and there would be no pie shop without the bike trail. You just can get lost in the moment, and, and I would definitely recommend it for anybody.